What's up YouTube? It's me, Dark Spine Sonic, aka the one and only Sonic. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to play as characters in stages that they don't belong in. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going into two-player battle because this is a requirement in order to get this glitch to work. Basically what you want to do is set your battle options so that you are playing a best two out of three in other words number of battles has to be three and the way that this works is you want the last level that you play on in your best two out of three to be the stage that you want to go to later on in one player mode so basically right now I'm just showing off me completing the first level in this example which is Skyrail and then the second level in this example is going to be the stage that I want to go to which is Radical Highway okay, so what we're gonna do here is run through Radical sure. Highway but you don't want to see me run through this whole thing so we're gonna just skip ahead show me touch the goal ring and then we can move on what you want to do after completing both the levels is choose not to continue and from there you want to go straight to one player and stage select. Now, this is the way it works. Whoever you want to go to that level that you just finished, you have to go to one of their levels where you can perform the child key glitch. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the child key glitch, I have linked videos to other examples of me using the child key glitch with other characters in the description this is the child key glitch for crazy gadget because i would like to go to radical highway using sonic the hedgehog so what's going to happen here is i use the child key glitch but instead of going to the test level or cannon's core or final hazard what have you you will see that i'm warped to radical highway and i start off where shadow initially starts off And just to show that this is the authentic Radical Highway, you can see me running through the level. Now I'm not going to show this whole thing because that would be a waste of video. So I'm going to basically skip ahead and show Sonic finishing the level so that you can see the end result screen and my ranking. And after that you will see me head back to the stage select. A rank. That was cool. Okay, now one neat thing about this trick is the location that the child key glitch will send you to does not change provided that you don't lose all of your lives in the stage and you don't exit out of any stage. So, for example, if I decide that I want Knuckles in Radical Highway, I can just go to Wild Canyon, pick any mission, doesn't matter. In this case, I choose Mission 3. And I will perform his child key glitch. And then after that, I will finish the level. And upon finishing the level, I will get my result screen, my ranking. And instead of being sent back to the stage select screen, I will be sent to none other than Radical Highway. Now, one difference that you're going to notice right off the bat is I don't start off where Sonic and Shadow start off. This is evident in all of the stages where this can be done if you choose to play the stage as a character that is not the original character or the dark slash hero counterpart of that character. So in this case, Radical Highway, you'll start off in the correct position as Sonic and Shadow, whereas if you attempt to go to the stage as Knuckles, Rouge, Eggman, or Tails, you will start off in the position that you just saw previously. Now, being that Knuckles isn't supposed to be in the action stage, I decided to show a little bit of him running through the stage. As you can see, he can run through loops, attack the enemies, glad interact with the springs he can climb on some walls not all of them 
right here you can see that he doesn't have a somersault of course but he can glide so you can just glide around that here we will see him running through this loop and a series of springs no problems here we skip a little bit ahead into the level he doesn't grind Of course, here's one of the locations that you will find Big the Cat. You go through him <laughs> for whatever reason. But anyway, moving on. We go to the end of the stage where Knuckles will attempt the double corkscrew and fail. Having a little trouble there. Yeah, as long as you hold forward, he won't make it. But it's not a big deal. All you have to do is stop holding forward and he will drop down you can just glide your way to the end now the reason why I'm showing the end even though this is mission 3 is to show off that there isn't a back ring and the same thing applies for missions 1, 4, and 5 there will be no gold ring so if you want to finish a stage as Knuckles or Rouge in an action stage be sure that you pick mission 2 or 3 Mission 2, all you have to do is collect 100 rings and that will complete the level. And Mission 3, the child is still in its correct location. So, you can end the mission this way. Knuckles is at his position where he initially started the level, which is why this structure is in the way, but no big deal. Now, Another neat thing is if you were to go to your save file which lets you know how long you've been playing emblems, last stage and last character, it will show you that the last stage I played was Radical Highway and it was with Knuckles. Now another neat thing about this is that you can actually go to the mini stages in one player mode. In this example I'm shredding through downtown on my snowboard with Sonic and I'm going to show this off in its entirety unfortunately there's no music playing but no biggie nailing all these tricks getting massive air we expect nothing less from the blue blur And a solid finish. Yes. Surely this will be nothing less than an A rank. No. Barely made it. Anyway, moving on. You've seen Sonic in Shadows Radical Highway and Knuckles in Shadows Radical Highway. So does the same thing apply for the hunting stages? Well, in this example, I am going to show you Tails entering Meteor Herd. So, we've already played through a two-player mode, finishing off on Meteor Herd. And now we perform the Child Key glitch for Tails in Mission Street. So, the location that the child key glitch sends me to has now been changed to Meteor Herd. So, as you can see, we have Tails in Meteor Herd. His mission apparently is to find three pieces of the Master Emerald, but there are no Master Emerald pieces here since I came here with Tails. So, the gravity has been changed, of course, to fit Meteor Herd. Tails can interact with these objects by shooting it with Vulcan cannon shots. And one interesting thing to note about going to a hunting stage as a character that's not fit for these stages, i.e. Tails, Eggman, Sonic, and Shadow, is that the gold ring appears where you're supposed to start the level. And this will always be the case, so keep that in mind. Now, another thing I would like to show off while I'm here in Meteor Herd 
is the hint monitors. The hint monitors give you this. No text. This is because there are no emeralds located so it can't give you a hint towards where it is actually located since it doesn't exist. Now, one thing that I will note is that not all characters were programmed to do all actions. So for example, if I try to grab this rocket as Tails in his mech, that happens. My game locks up and the only way to get out of this is to restart your system. So let's move on. Here you see me doing two player battle for a mech stage, more specifically Cosmic Wall. Now obviously you would think that I would be sent to Cosmic Wall as the character of my choosing. Unfortunately this is not the case. For whatever reason the mech stages do not behave the same way that the action stages and the hunting stages behave. As you can see I am sent to the actual battle arena of Cosmic Wall versus the start or near the start rather of Cosmic Wall. So I'm just over here gliding wherever with knuckles hoping to find something. Unfortunately I don't and I just burn. <laughs> now another example that doesn't quite work out one would expect it to is going to the grind mini stage. Although it worked for downtown the same cannot be said for the grind mini stage. As you can see the game has frozen and this is apparent for all characters. Another example where things don't quite work out the way one would expect it to is trying to go to Metal Harbor. Even though I'm trying to go to Metal Harbor as Sonic's dark counterpart, which is Shadow, the objects in the stage Oops. don't load up. And this will be apparent if you choose any other character other than Sonic. Now as far as this glitch in particular is concerned, there's a lot of things to still look into. And I plan on keeping the description of this video as up to date as possible as well as uploading more videos to show you what can and can't be done through the use of this glitch. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them on this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.